Welcome back to the series of videos for the examples for the full JavaScript book. In this particular project, we will be building a Hello World server. Hello World, as you know from most programming languages, that's the quintessential example. I'm in the 07-hello folder in our book repository, and I have server.js file open. So let's go line by line and uh, see what's happening here. Very first line, we need to import this module. It's called HTTP. It comes from the core library. It's a core library, so we don't need to install it. We just need to require it with require global keyword. And then we store it in the HTTP object. The name is arbitrary, but the convention is use name similar to the NPM name or to the name of the module, if it's a core module. Then on line number three, I'm setting up the port number. So the double pipe in JavaScript, as you already know, it's a logical OR. If this environmental variable is not set, we're defaulting to 1337. Why I do this? Because we need to get this value in the cloud from Heroku, or if you're deploying on AWS, we need to get this value from there. But for local development, we need to use the hard-coded value. This way, our code works wonderfully in both scenarios. Then on line number five, I'm creating the server object. I'm using HTTP.createServer. And in the function, I have two arguments, rec and res. This stands for request and response. I'm using response to write the head, 200 is the status, and then content type is text plain. And then I'm finishing the response with the res.end. If you're getting confused between rec and res, just spell it out completely. Don't abbreviate. Because I understand just one letter difference, it's very hard for beginners to understand the difference and to read the code. And then finally, we start the server. So before line number eight, that was just the definition. And line number nine, we have server.listen. We pass the port number, and then we have the console log to output that our server is actually running. So now we can go to the terminal. In the terminal, I am CDing into my uh, project folder. And uh, I'll do the list of files. So I actually have this file server.js. The rest of the files, they are for Heroku deployment. So don't worry about them. So we can start it with Node, but the better version I've already I, I want to tell you that there is this tool, Node-Dev. So the difference between Node and Node-Dev is that Node-Dev will restart your server every time you make the changes. So let's start with Node first, and then I'll show you Node-Dev. Okay, so now let's go to the browser. And uh, I click Refresh, I see Hello World. So that's working. Now let's go to the editor. In the editor, let me put an exclamation mark here and save the file. Now, we go to the server, it's still running, and I click Refresh, nothing happens, okay? So, I'm going back to the terminal, I'm pressing Ctrl-C to kill this process, then I'm restarting. Now I refresh and I see the change. So, every time, you, when you use Node, every time you make a change, in the file, you need to kill the, the old process and start a new process. That's not very nice, not very developer friendly. You spend a lot of time. Node dev will allow you to, for example, right now we have the exclamation mark. If I delete the exclamation mark, Node dev automatically captures that change and restarts the server. So it's very, very convenient. You don't even need to worry about it. So now the exclamation mark is gone. So I know this is a very basic Hello World example. Feel free to uh, feel free to push it to Heroku. We already did it for the front end applications. All you need is a package of JSON and proc file. That's how Heroku will know that this is a legitimate Node.js project. And package.json looks something like this. It's very small, 
The only thing you need probably is name, version, and engine. So that's all you need for Heroku. Make sure it's a valid JSON. So it must have only one object, which is a curly brace, and then everything else is uh, inside of that object. And then it must have double quotes for both the keys and the values. And uh, the proc file looks like web colon node space server. So that's the command that the Heroku will output to start the server. So that's it for now, and uh, we will soon explore more complex Node.js examples.